Hello, I'm Clinton Gillespie and today I'll be talking about the multiple travelling salesman problem. Uh, I'll briefly describe what the multiple travelling salesman problem is, uh, give it a mathematical formulation, uh, describe ways to find a solution or an optimal route, um, and lastly talk about real world applications. Uh, the multiple travelling salesman problem, which from here on out I'll just call the MTSP, is a variation of the traveling salesman problem, which um, if you're familiar with optimization or algorithms, you've almost certainly heard of before. Uh, it was originally formalized in the 1930s. Um, and to this day is one of the widest studied problems in optimization as it has many applications. Um, and it's particularly interesting. Uh, the multiple traveling salesman problem can be viewed as a variation of the traveling salesman problem as it allow, allows multiple travelers instead of the standard one. Uh, all of the routes in an MTSP must start at the same spot and end at the same spot. Um, and all of the locations must be visited once and only once by one salesman. This is a graph, so I can briefly descri describe what a traveling salesman problem is. Um, uh, so we have a set of nodes, one, two, three, and four, and a set of edges that connect these nodes. Um, each edge has a weight associated with it, which is essentially the cost of traveling. Uh, and the goal of the traveling salesman problem is to find the shortest route to visit all nodes. Um, by looking at this, you can very quickly find that the traversal one, two, four, three, one again, or one, three, four, two, one is the fastest route, just by just by looking at it. Um, it's much more difficult for a computer to find the solution as it has to uh, test every possible uh, traversal and, and compare each and every single one. But it's pretty simple for a human just to look at it and find the solution. Um, and it's been found up until around 100 to 120 nodes. Uh, a human can pretty quickly find an optimal solution, at least compared to, to a computer. Um, <clears throat> Uh, the MTSP uh, can be viewed as a vehicle routing problem, which is uh, very similar. It, it just has re relaxed rules. And a vehicle routing problem, uh, uh, the salesman can only visit a certain amount of nodes as they have some capacity in their vehicle or they have to pick up things and drop them off. Uh, whereas in a multiple traveling salesman problem, those are relaxed and uh, uh, salesman it could be possible that the optimal solution is just one salesman visiting every single spot. Um, whereas in a vehicle routing problem, that's not possible as the, as it's, as it's, there is a chance that the, uh, the salesman in, in that scenario will run out of room in their vehicle. Uh, so next we have a mathematical formulation of the model traveling salesman problem. Uh, so essentially we have a graph with a set of uh, nodes and edges. Uh, nodes denoted with a V and edges denoted with an A. Uh, associated with each edge is a cost, C, I, J. Um, and then we define a, bi a binary variable, X, I, J, which denotes whether the node is visited or not. Uh, if a limit is to be set, to make a vehicle routing problem essentially on the number of locations that a salesman can visit. Uh, a variable P is defined, which denotes the maximum number of nodes that a salesman can visit. And an integer, integer variable U, which denotes the position of a node, just to ensure that uh, uh, the salesman doesn't get too far away from the start node that they can't return. <coughs> Um, and here's, here's, here's all those definitions in a list form. So G is the graph, V is a set of nodes, A is a set of edges, CIJ is the cost, XIJ is uh, whether the edge is visited or not, M is the number of salesmen, uh, P is the constraint set on how, uh, how many nodes a salesman can visit, and U is the location of the node in the graph. So the, uh, essentially we have to minimize the sum of uh, all edges and the costs associated with them. Uh, we have to ensure that exactly M salesmen start at node one, 
uh, and exactly M salesman return to node one. Next, we have to ensure that exactly one tour enters each node and exactly one tour exits each node. The final constraint is essentially making it a vehicle routing problem, um, ensuring that each salesman doesn't visit too many nodes or if they get to some node that they can still then return home. So finding uh, the optimal solution for a large enough graph can be quite difficult uh, just because the only way to know that you're finding the optimal solution is uh, in the exhaustive search and try every possible route and every possible combination of routes um, which clearly if you have a large enough graph uh, drastically uh, the computational complexity greatly increases um, its own notation is n factorial, so for a graph of just 10 nodes, there is 3,628,800 possible routes, which for 10 nodes, like that, that's not that many calculations and a computer should be able to do that just fine. But say 100 nodes, you end up with some ludicrous number, which very quickly just becomes ridiculous. Say 1,000, it, it just, just isn't going to happen, particularly if you need the computation done in a short amount of time. So the branch and bound is a method to find an exact solution. Uh, essentially what it does is breaks down a large graph into subgraphs and it'll start going through the graphs, finding uh, the optimal solution for each subgraph. Um, and once it finds the optimal solution to subgraph one, it'll head to subgraph two. Um, and when it finds the optimal solution for subgraph two, uh, if that optimal solution, when combined with the solution for subgraph one, uh, will not lead to a full traversal, uh, it'll change the solution to subgraph two, um, so it can link with subgraph one and make a make a full traversal onto subgraph three, and so on. Uh, there is methods uh, to quickly approximate solutions uh, that can be relatively accurate, but just never are, or not necessarily never. Just in most cases, aren't the optimal solution. Uh, so one of those is the greedy algorithm, where the traversal always visits the closest, lowest cost neighboring node, uh, which can be a quick way to find a solution um, because all you really have is one traversal of the node, uh, the graph, sorry. Um, but on average, that's about 25% less, 25 less efficient than the optimal solution uh, when an exhaustive search approach is taken. So now some real world applications of a multiple traveling salesman problem. Uh, so if you consider, say, a Coles or Woolworth delivery truck um, that has to deliver to multiple locations in a day and they have multiple employees leaving at the same time, um, it's essentially a multiple traveling salesman problem because they want to find the shortest route that they can send all of their delivery drivers to all of the locations. Um, of course, because they want to minimize the cost of food and minimize the amount of time that they pay their employees. Um, and also that can be extended to this delivery in general, um, specifically for businesses that are small enough that they don't have a full route that they take every day. Um, whereas, say, like a, a postman always has the same route that he takes. He will just skip a couple houses, that kind of thing. It's not really a multiple traveling salesman problem. Uh, but say for like a flower delivery business or or something of the sort or like a business to business courier business uh, something like that um, also the routing of unmanned drones uh, consider drones that have to surveil some area um, or some set of locations and all drones leave the same place um, that can be considered a multiple traveling salesman problem uh, so for this, I used a few different re references, mostly Wikipedia um, and the explanation of the multiple traveling salesman problem. Okay, thanks for listening.